Hey, single plane Mo Norman fans out there. First of all, I want to thank you for being a part of my YouTube channel. In just over two and a half months, I've seen the channel grow from 2,000 to over 11,000 subscribers. So it's, it's great to have you asking questions. It's been an absolute pleasure to produce the content. I'm having a blast with it. It's a great creative outlet for all the stuff that that I do here with Graves Golf and with Single Plane Swing and Mo Norman. So thank you so much for being a part of the channel and something I'm very passionate about. So it's been it's been an absolute blast to be doing this. Also, I wanted to, to talk to you about another passion project of mine, which is a project I started about two and a half years ago with a production team. I, you know, we're in the business of of producing golf instruction content and very much uh, I thought it was is such, you know, you hear these great Mo Norman stories out there. And I had been working on a movie project with Barry Morrow, who is a sc the screenwriter for the movie Rain Man. And Barry and I had talked about Mo Norman, and I thought, you know, wouldn't it be great to just grab Barry and start producing a documentary? So Barry agreed to do it. And two and a half years ago, we started traveling around, interviewing people that knew Mo Norman, including friends and family and professional golfers that knew Mo, to go out there and document all the stories about him. And two and a half years later, we have over 47 interviews, and we're just now getting into the post-production phase of the film. Now, here's the thing. Getting this thing, my goal is to get this thing to the Toronto Film Festival, which means we have to make it a pretty spectacular project. I mean, we have to do the right things to get it there. So I, I'm, I'm in the process of, of taking it to another level. Now, I funded this thing a lot by myself, and I have obviously asked you, the fans of Mo Norman, for funding as well. So on these videos, what I'm, I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to be putting out there a lot of Mo Norman video content. And as I do this, I'll be posting the link for Mo Norman's for the donation page so you can make a donation to the documentary. Obviously, you'll get film credits for being a part of the donation. You'll also get a bunch of gifts that I offer for making any type of donation to the film. But this is our road to Toronto. We're in post-production phase. We got a pretty large budget for the film. We want to make it the right film for Mo Norman. It needs to be great. We're going to make it great. And we need your help to do that. So I'm going to ask you as I produce these videos for Mo, if you enjoy these videos and you're enjoying the Mo Norman content on the channel, please, any help you can give us to donate to the Mo Norman documentary would be great because we can't wait to see this thing in the Toronto International Film Festival. Just cut this. Right there. Oh, is that the first time you've ever that? Wow, it's starting to go like that. Where's all the bacon strips in there, right? Where's the bacon strips? Off the line. Never take a dip. Hogan, I never take a dip. Who's new? How's Newton? Do you not take a dip? Twenty bucks for Mr. Fairway, twenty bucks for Mr. Green Thank 
Mo, so oh, I just stand so wide. You have so much trouble with these clubs. I, <laughs> I saw you in the trees out there. Yeah, I just want to know, you get on the ground? Sure that, that fairway over there. You respect it. Get out of here. Thank you can make some money today with that, man. <laughs> make a few coffees. I'm a year older. <laughs> can you tape that on a PHS? Uh-huh. You're 62. See what you're in. Only. You travel to with a VCR with you too? Mm-hmm. How do you put it on the television? You just look for it on. Not like this one. Yeah, I can find it. Maybe you do. I mean, you can hit the roll off the keys for. Don't move the keys. Can you imagine? <laughs> My STP 
I don't want life hazards in front of me. <laughs> but I don't dead hazards. <laughs> life hazards. You stick it on back to <laughs> <laughs> Never miss a green or a fairway. It's long enough. I played this tour seven years, I went to the tour I wish I were 35, I'd be taking all your quarters. Every time I say, hey, you're, you're too old and far, that's a good thing. Another, another Kelly Murray and Murray Norman's little pocketbook. <laughs> and here I got the $104 in on you. I know exactly what you got. No, it's not taking a copy of that. Right here, right here. Well, uh, that's Kelly, get it. Well, you better wait there. 
T's out here, 22 inches. Hit with the blade square. Way out there. That's why I do now with every shot. That's why, that's why I picture my mind now. That's why I can see my imagination. So, so I see all that now, and I do it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not rough. Kill straight. Hey, come on. Wait till you guys are 67. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a ghost stick. <laughs> Who wants to? Byron Nelson. Great iron for Long iron. Knock him in there for gimme. Yes, sir. Knock him in there for gimme. Old Byron. Iron Byron. Remember that round of Lake Hill and Steve? Secret here, Mickey. All right. <laughs> 
Cinderella story, assistant greenskeeper, about to become master's champion. Oh, he's got tears in his eyes, he guesses. This stays right here. My shoulder. I never want to move that. That's what Hogan I do so well. This doesn't move. What moves? Shoulders and arms. Where's your, what's your arms attached to? Not your hips. Don't start getting, like they want to say, unnecessary movement. To hit a wall. Boy. Oh, that's great. Oh, I can hear you. Doesn't leave. Doesn't leave its angle. I'm never putting strain on my right leg. Yeah. Ever. Mm -hmm. Never putting strain on it. Never. <laughs> In the middle, yeah, zero. Boom. Yeah. Now 150. Just a little more turn, a little more extension. Hit the middle, flipping zero. Now 200, a little more turn, a little more extension. Right through the plate. Yes, I'm going at the 200. I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss. It's still going at the target. Here, here's right at the 200. Go hit the center roll. Go hit right in the center roll. Never left, never, never left the target. No. But I'm never hear? hitting at the ball. Swing. Swinging through the ball with my left hand. Left hand swings through the ball. 
powodu, I swing under my arm so well. Under. Never. Never. This wrist is never higher than that one at any time of my swing. I never want to release it? Oh, it'll release. Way after I've hit the ball. <laughs> Way after you hit the ball. Oh, yeah. It comes out of pinch and solid. Certainly. Well, I believe in my timing and my extension data. Like I do. Oh, look at here again. Look at the black, back of my left hand in the face. Same angle, not like the guys today. <laughs> or <laughs> my muscles are always in motion to move forward. Always. That's what Hogan and I do so well. Our muscles are always in position to move at the target. With no strain, no struggle. We're never fighting our alignment. It's flowing. It's like a bird. We're flowing on our alignment. We're just flowing. Like we're just flowing. Never off balance. Never see a spike in my left shoe. Never. Never. Especially going through. My left foot is. Yeah. Every time. Never. Never any of that stuff. Nor did Newton. Nor did Hogan. But, but we believe in it. Finishing high. I'll finish up over my head. <laughs> my left arm is never left on my left shoulder. One of you guys. Yeah. I'll hit all these, I won't hit you. Yeah, really. Or I pass your face every time. Right <laughs> 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 behind you. I'll stand there and get a kill. Yeah. I wouldn't even know you're there. I'll get a kill over there. Yeah, it'd be good. Back of the year. My hands are always at the target. Yeah. He likes burning. Garbage, why is that? <laughs> he's doing what I after he saw me. Now he's, he changes changes teaching just like that one after he saw me. Led better did? Yeah. Who asked Dick Mash, you know Dick. Yeah. He'll tell you. He was going to him before he ever met me, like before Ledbetter ever met me. As soon as as soon as I went to him, hey, that's going on. But I used to go to him. Time this, next time that. Always the same pattern, like Hogan did. We're using the same muscles every time. On every shot. We're using the same muscles. We always get the same angle of attack. I know. Huge over 100 drives now, off the same tee. Hit it wherever I want. That D's had that D for seven years. Whatever side I want. Had it for seven years. Down the left side with a little draw. Just down the left side with a little draw. Perfect. Right around the dog leg. Gets more better in time? Now low, low, low one into the wind. Get it down along the ground. What are you trying to do to hit a low? Well. Oh, drag like a son of a gun. Oh, keep that board so long. Jeez. Oh. Can I keep that board so long? Another low one. Why don't you keep that board? Can see a replay on that, Mac? Let it run like mad. Carry 150 yards and run 100. Yes, in my lap. No, I just met him this year. Yeah, I know. I'll hit the 747. Well, I hope you're learning something when you see how I got the same angle of attack every time. Not one time inside, outside, outside, inside. Picking the club up, Ugh. always the same. I spent the whole pile of dirt there with my broom. Here's a whole, all that dirt now. When I go back, I'll hit the people with that in my backswing. I hit the 
put it back there 41 inches, I, hit, I still hit the ball. That's what I feel in my imagination. So I, I see all that now, hit a 300. And away she goes. She goes 300. <laughs> But no strain, no struggle. Never get tired. Just, just, just bring some more. I didn't want I'll bring you another. Hey, I'll bring another. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I felt my day. But more, you've never struck the ball any better than that right now. Didn't I? The wine, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like wine, I guess. Where were you when I needed it? Oh, I like that one. <laughs> so, are you trying to hit, trying it, to hard? hit it too hard? Sure, but I hold it, it didn't even need it. So, you just try to hit it high, not hard. Think too bad. All I think it was high. Think high. Think high. Get your right side real low. Huh? But they got, there's no reaction today anymore in the game. All there is is action. We had action reaction. Our legs went forward, our head went back. All this today is just action, not action reaction. Big pull on my right side. You don't see any more. Look, look, look up at your room. Look, look. At impact, my right shoulder is over my right shoe. Over the ball. <laughs> no wonder they did. That's why they hit him OB left. <laughs> Couldn't gather in on this course. What do you think about Nudie's theory where everything finishes up? Left side? Yeah. That was good for somebody, not, not to stay in the ocean, not for people. No. Your muscles aren't built that way. It took him years to develop it, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Come back there, sir. Oh, we got it. No, we get this that one. Just gonna miss one once in a while, I guess. Yeah, you're on the right box now. Yeah, you really like it. I don't even know that. I just asked you a couple questions. Yeah, that was smoke there. You gotta turn it off. Yeah. Here, draw it up. Yeah, you tell me. Yeah, you tell me. That long break we had, we had playing a pro-am and playing with you. No such thing as a bad lie. As long as you can get the club on the ball. Still <laughs> so hit nice and straight. Even on a difficult one. Doesn't matter. That's a tricky ball. Huh? What's that? Tricky ball. Is it? In what way, sir? In what way? Tell me. In what way? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Just like a good lie. Yep. Yeah. No, even though it's in the hole. It's a little dusty. I'll break your club out of there. I'll break your club out of there.
go get it out. <laughs> Come on, hey, I'm gonna break your club. I'm afraid to break your club. I don't want to break your club. That's too deep.